Thanks, Daniel. Creaky floors, voices, and door slams. Oh my, according to staff, T. Frere's bed breakfast lives up to its haunted reputation on a daily basis. With Halloween coming up, it was something our own Abby Breidenbach had to see for herself. The Onezafor Como House, more commonly known as T. Frere's bed and breakfast, is said to house many more than its guest book would suggest. I hear it throughout the house. Door slams. Um, walking, you know, footsteps, so voices. The spirits of those who once lived in the home, many believe never left. I think they're letting people know that they're still here. The spirits here, they don't mean no harm at all to anybody. This one is the sister of the home's original owner, Amelie. She moved into this room when her husband and child died of yellow fever. Amelie also died on the property when she fell into a well. How it happened is still a mystery. That's something that we will never know. You know. We'll never get the true story of it, of what happened. Her presence is said to be seen and heard around the house, especially in the mornings. Somebody has come in front of the house one day and claimed they saw Amelie looking out this window. She just hasn't found her peace. She hasn't found her rest yet. It's something you just have to see to believe. Motion in there. And nobody's here. In Lafayette, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3.